beautiful and intellectually curious love bugs, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, hello, my name is Nancy. I'm an entomologist, which means that I study bugs, and I live in Ecuador, where normally I'm doing tourism, but like, you know, everything. So today's video is going to be a little bit short because we're going to have a little bit of a channel update first. And if you do not care about me and you do not care about the channel, well, like that, that makes me a little bit sad. But if it does, then you can just go ahead and skip to this timestamp to watch the little wigglers wiggle. But if you are interested in knowing what's going on a little bit here, here is a short kind of like goals, I guess, hashtag goals for the channel in December. Um, I'm going to try and do daily December, which obviously I've already failed at because yesterday was the first of December and there was nothing. So it is going to be Nancy's almost daily December. I don't have editors. I'm finishing up a big project. Like I do travel a decent amount. Like we're okay here in Ecuador. We are able to travel. We're doing everything legally. Okay. So like no panicking on that, but I am, slightly busier than being able to do an upload every single day probably, but I do want to up my content in December because I would really like to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of December, like January. Like that would be awesome. For like the new year to have 5,000 subscribers, that would be amazing. So help a girl out and click that below, like the subscribe and the bell and the ding and all those things to help a girl's dreams come true. So for this almost daily December, I'm gonna be kind of switching it up between some vlog style, just kind of like some just chat at my phone. I wanna do book reviews. Um, there's kind of like a bunch of random things that I have in my head, basically. Whatever I feel like it related to ecology, bugs, entomology, Ecuador, you know, any of that stuff. So that's my goal. We're gonna see how I do. We're gonna try hard. So if you made it through all this, cool, thanks. Expect more uploads. If you didn't make it through this, hello, welcome. We are going to be showing off some different pupa that can wiggle. I took this video back in March when we could still do tourism. And this is one of my favorite lodges to go to. The guy there, uh, Matthew, he, he rears butterflies and moths for educational purposes, which is absolutely amazing. Today's entomology word of the day is object pupa. I thought it would be so cool to kind of show you and highlight how some of these insects can move. So roll clip. So here we have two different pupa in two different families. This first one over here is in the genus Automeris in the family Saturniidae, and this one over here to the right is a species in the family Sphingidae or the hawk moths. And a lot of people think that this stage is completely immobile, but if you pick them up, you realize that they're pretty wiggly. All right, this one, we're going to pick this one up. And you can see it's pretty wiggly. Very excited, as you can tell. We think this helps them evade predators or maybe startle predators or maybe wiggle if they've been captured and escape. These pupa are obtect, which means that they can only wiggle from a few segments and that all of their developing body parts are encased within the pupil casing. I've zoomed in on the wing pads and this is where the wings will develop from. So as I roll this little pupa over, you're gonna be able to see these two little lines coming down from his face, and those are where the developing antennae are. So there are just a couple of the adult structures. The thing that's wiggling is the abdomen, and it's really interesting because sometimes in some pupa, they can actually make noise when they wiggle. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about the hawk moth that we have here. This long thing in front is the hawk moth's tongue, but the automeris moths actually don't have mouths as adults, so you can't see that structure in that pupa because the adult doesn't have a tongue. So this little hook structure right here in front will be the hawk moth's tongue, and they have some of the longest tongues of all the moths, and many of them are obligate pollinators, only being able to pollinate really, really long flowers. It's a little harder to see on this pupa, but you can still see what will become the eye and what will become the antennae. And these long kind of like arrow shaped things are the wing pads. And that's because they have long arrow shaped wings as adults. So there, we learned a little bit about pupa today. And thank you so much to Ollie for being patient and holding them while I was doing all this filming. You're the best. 
So love bugs, even though this video was short today, I hope that you still enjoyed it and you still liked it and you got to see a little bit of, you know, cool insects in action instead of me just talking about them. And I will see you all, maybe not tomorrow, but very soon, very soon. So we're gonna, you know, upload more than once a week in, in December. All right, I will see you all soon. Bye.